Come Freak Nation. This is President T. Electric. <clears throat> I want to talk about the um, the savages, man. Um, as you can see, savages are all over the world. And I want to talk about that terrorist attack that happened over in Russia um, recently. Four terrorists, I believe ISIS, well, savages, um, gone down, murdered over 140 people, I believe. Um, I saw the video. It was horrible. Um, people running for their lives. People, you know, running into corners. And, and and using other people to try to shield them, you know, people stacked on top of each other. And my what I didn't understand is why did they do that when me personally, you know, it's hard to say if you're not in that situation, but I'd be damned if I just raid on somebody to got me down, you know. It was enough of those people to at least try to overrun them and and, and, and just overtake them and, and just, you know, you know, just, you know, swarm their asses. But everybody from the footage that I saw, everybody ran in that corner and it was just stacked on top of each other and they just slaughtered them people, man. Um, you need <clears throat> to be armed. I don't know how they, 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 Gun policies are over in Russia. They gun laws or whatever. Are they allowed to have guns? That I don't know. But if somebody would have been armed and put up a resistance, some type of resistance, a lot of people could have been saved. Because there was no police around. Same thing that happened in Israel on October the 7th when they had a terrorist attack on them and the terrorists was going, you know, door to door, you know, just, just killing people, man. Um, don't ever think that nothing like that on that scale that happened over in Russia can't happen over here because I believe it can happen and eventually it will happen. Think about this for a second. We got hundreds of thousands of so-called migrants invading the country, just coming over, man. And if you if you don't think that this is being done by design, I don't know what to tell you, man. I really don't know what to tell you. This is all by design. These people are being told, hey, man, once you cross the border... <clears throat> You got a free ticket. You, 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 you can even come over here and beat the cops' ass. It ain't nothing going to happen to you. You got immunity and all that, man. You get you get the EBT, which is food stamps. You're going to get cash. You can just move into any old vacant, abandoned house and, 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 and call it yours. Uh, uh, We're going to give you money. We're going we to we gonna, um, even, you even got the right to be armed. Damn. This shit is unprecedented. Y'all, I can't make this shit up. So, if you getting all that information by the government that you can you 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 have the right to carry, you going to get your your food stamps, you going to get all kind of assistance, cash assistance. You can just move in any old house <clears throat> and just move up in there. Hell, I would be trying to cross the border and come here too. Because some of our own homeless citizens, even military veterans, don't even get that kind of help. So I'm telling you, man, I'm, I don't generalize nobody or, or profile anybody. I'm pretty sure a, a lot of the people, the majority of them are honest, righteous people that really do want to come here and make a good life for themselves, have a better life. And what country to you know that it, that can happen in America? But it's legal ways to do it, and I understand when you doing desperate times, man. I, I ain't mad at you, you 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 um righteous people, but 
You cannot tell me that some of them people, some of them are savages. Some of them are professional criminals and they coming over here to commit crimes. Some of them are terrorists that's blending in. Those are the ones I'm talking about, the savages, the terrorists. They blending in and don't be surprised if we are or we will have an attack on that scale, on that level in the future. Remember I said that. And I'm not, I'm not trying to do no fear monger. I'm, I'm telling you it is what it is. These people are being let in for a reason. Okay? They, one of the most important components of it, they are giving them the right to vote. Why is that? If you got hundreds of thousands of people flooding in, they've been promised all this assistance. You think they're gonna vote for the other the other party who wants to, you know, stop all that and, you know, uh, 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 make the borders more strict, you know, and 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 you know the crackdown on all that. People, this is all by design. They want a whole new voting block. I ain't about to go into all that replacement theory and all that because I don't believe in that, man. I believe that if you're a righteous person, you're a righteous person. It don't matter what race or where you come from, what nationality, what country you're from. I'm all for it. But if you're a savage, I don't give a damn what color you are. A savage is going to be a savage. And they come in every shape, every form, and in every color. And that is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the savages, man. That's why I'm telling y'all. Y'all need to get armed. We are headed towards unprecedented times. We got this eclipse coming. We got the election. This is an election year. I need y'all to think long and think hard. I need y'all to start stocking up on medical supplies, extra food. You need that food. You need that water. You need that ammo. I hear it's already a shortage in ammo in certain areas. You need to wrap it up and be tight. Do what you make the most of what make the most out of what you do have, but try to do more. If all you got right now is a handgun, then so be it. Make it work. Be proficient with it. But I highly suggest that you get you an AR-15 or AK-47 or even a shotgun, as long as a high capacity, like a KSG or, or a DP-12, <clears throat> I, I I feel that the reason why I say that I want you to have some type of weapon that got high capacity because we <clears throat> eventually will be dealing with crowds, not just a group of people, of savages, but I'm talking about crowds upwards of maybe 20 to 30 going on a rampage. One thing for sure, if you got about 30 savages at your door, you got 15 in the front, 15 at the back door, or 15 at the side door, that handgun, it ain't going to be sufficient enough, especially if they aren't. Even with the AR-15, and if they got AR-15s, you are severely outgunned. But I will say this. You still got a fighting chance with that AR. Because the AR is going to hold at least 30. Okay? And if you are uh, uh, strategic in the layout of your, of your house, of your home, and you know where to go, 
And the first motherfucker that breached, the first savage that breached into your home, you know what to do? Create that, that, that death funnel. So if they come in that area or come through that this particular area or, or walk down that hallway, that's the hallway to funky time. And each and every one of them, if they try to storm it, you let them have it and, and put them on that funky town express. But even then, that's if they're trying to get into your house so they can ransack it, you know, uh, raid your house. But if they really want you, they can smoke you out. Remember that. They can smoke you out. If they set fire to your house, you ain't got no choice but to get out or, or burn to death, burn alive. And you ain't going to let that happen. So I would suggest that in a situation, if you see that something is about to boil over, because right now it seems like something is brewing, something big is about to happen. And sooner or later, it's going to erupt. You need to establish some type of communication with your neighbors if, if they trustworthy. Therefore, <clears throat> if you have something like a neighborhood watch in a shit hit the fan scenario, I say you set up with your neighbors on your block or in your area a roadblock or something. Any motherfucker that come through that roadblock, you're going to search their ass while you're here. What are you doing here? What do you want? Therefore, if you set up that parameter, they can't even get to your house to, to smoke you out. You know, then a lot of people is like, well, it's time to, you know, the, the go somewhere, leave the cities. Well, where are you going to go? Now, me, fortunately, I know a lot of people in Texas that got land and say, I could come there and, you know, but everybody don't have that. And I'm not putting 100% uh, uh, faith into that either. So we just got to figure it out. It's time for us to, to think ahead and, 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 you know, we need to have a backup plan. We need to have a plan B, a plan C, and a plan D. Because situations can happen and, and things don't always go, you know, like they planned. Like you planned them out for it to go. You know. But yeah, stock up. You know. I have a lot of firearms personally. But I know that. If it ever came to it, the vast majority of them, I have to leave. Who's going to be hauling around that many guns? All that ammo, all you need is really two firearms. You need your handgun and you need your long gun. And you need a lot of ammo. The rest of that shit, maybe you might have to hand it off to your neighbors. Maybe you can create your own squad. But you're not going to be hauling around a bunch of firearms. It's just going to slow you down. It just, it's just too much. People like what they like. If you want to have a nice collection, ain't nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, you got to leave all that shit behind eventually. You know, I'm just, I'm just telling you, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. A lot of people think it can never happen here. It can never, ever happen here. But you know what? A lot of people that's dead in their grave right now, they was thinking the same thing. It can never happen to me. It can never, ever happen to me. And it happened. They let that savage get the drop on them for whatever reason. They, they guard was down and they became a victim. And now they're no longer here. But they thought it could never happen to them. They woke up that day. They woke up that, 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 that morning and they didn't know that that would be the last day of their life. Life is crazy. 
We living in some crazy times, man. We living in some crazy times. And y'all need to be prepared. You know, be prepared because I feel like in the climate that we're living in right now with what's going on with the border and, 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 and it ain't just about that. I'm talking about everyday savages, people that's, you know, savages pulling home invasions. You know, you, you getting robbed out in the street. You know, they robbing you. They, 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 it's, it's a lot of horrible things going on right now. And it's getting worse by the day. It's getting worse and worse every day. We got a lot of people. April 8th, April 8th, something big gonna happen. You know, it's supposed to be an eclipse that day. Um, I know one thing, savages will try to take advantage of it. You know, one thing about a savage, they're very smart, man. They they like to prey on their targets and they like a predator. And they will prey on your target and they, they seek out the weak. If they feel that they can get the drop on you, if they feel that you're not going to fight back or they know you don't have a weapon to defend themselves, especially a gun, they will test you. They will try you. That I know for sure. So when you are out in public, doing whatever, living your life, you need to be assertive because they can sniff you out. They can watch somebody and be like, okay, that's an easy, that's an easy target right there. But if you are paying attention to your surroundings and you don't have your, your phone all in your face, your, 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 your tablet all in your face, your phone all in your face, and you paying attention and you looking, you know, you got your head on the swivel, they might just skip over you and, and move on to a person that ain't being alert of their surroundings. See, a lot of this goes on, I call this situational awareness. No matter what environment you find yourself in, you always got to be aware. Keep your head on a swivel because you never know who's watching you. You may feel that, that you in a neighborhood that's that's super safe, man. Nah. Mm-mm. Nope. 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 It's better neighborhoods out there, but there is no longer safe neighborhoods. Crime happens everywhere. It can it can go down anywhere, anytime. And you gotta be ready. This is not Disneyland. We living in an evil world with savages in them. And they don't have a problem snuffing out your life, shortcutting your life, cutting your life short. And we living in an environment right now where anything can happen. So yes, what happened over in Israel, what happened over in Russia, it can easily happen over here. So protect you and your family at all times. You know, don't let nobody shame you. What are you buying a gun for? You don't need that. Oh, you crazy. You going to be the next person I see on the news. Those people are stupid and they're idiots. And them going to be the same ones that's running and begging and pleading and hiding for their lives. When the shit do go down. Okay. I recently just purchased me. Some body armor. And it made me feel a lot better. And I will be purchasing more. Because I want something from my family. You know. And God Freak Nation. You are. My. Family. I may not know you personally. I may never get a chance to meet you. But through this technology here, we already know each other. We are kindred souls. So it's us against the savages out here. It's us against 
these unjust politicians that want to, you know, destroy the Second Amendment, that want to disarm us, that want us begging, that want us down on our knees begging them to help us protect our family because we no longer have the needs because they have enacted all these laws, put all these anti-gun laws in place that's making it hard for us to do that. Ain't that dirty? That's so dirty and evil and, 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 and just, just demonic, if you ask me. How diabolical. They're not to be trusted. Anybody that tells you that they think they know what's best for you and you don't need this and, 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 and you don't need that, they're not to be trusted. And the hypocrites too. Because the same politicians and all these celebrities, they got the best armed security in the world. So who are, who are they to tell us who's facing these savages on a daily basis what's best for me? I think I know how to, you know, protect my family. Do you know how to protect yours? Don't listen to them. they idiots and they're hypocrites because they surrounded by the same guns that they're telling us not to have. Trust me on that. But anyway, Gun Freak Nation, I love y'all. Listen, stay armed, stay responsible with your firearms, stay righteous, and be ready to send that demonic, stinking-ass savage to Funky Town. Salute, baby.